Welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today. It's the 11th of December. As we approach the midpoint of the Asian session, it's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Of course, on Friday, US equities managed to close the week higher again on the Nasdaq, particularly recovered very well with another positive day on Friday. The Fed is in focus this week with key inflation data out and also their interest rate decision. That's going to dictate sentiment for possibly the rest of the year. US futures are flat in Asian trading. Asian markets were initially following the lead from Wall Street, but with those Chinese inflation numbers over the weekend being very soft and more deflationary, seeing weakness in the Chinese and Hong Kong market. The ASX did trade initially 0.4% of the upside, but it is gradually giving up some of those early gains. European futures are pointing to a positive open this afternoon at this stage. And the VIX is reinforcing this market calmness that we're in at the moment and testing September lows. US dollar index recovered a little bit on Friday and trading around the 200 EMA, as it did so for most of the back end of last week. A gold dropped significantly in testing the critical 2000 level on Friday before bouncing late in the session. It's pretty neutral in Asia so far today. Copper had a rough early part of last week, but bounced to regain some of the early week's losses and trading back over the 200 EMA now. Uh, again, pretty flat in Asia and all bounced off those five months lows we hit. Uh, testing June's lows was really quite a shock to the market despite OPEC's decision to continue to action production cuts. Bitcoin has been one of the stories over the last couple of months and pushed higher again on Friday to the 18 month highs. There's no data of note today, but of course, we have got that US CPI and Fed rate decision on Wednesday being the week's highlights. These are likely, as we've suggested, to influence market sentiment significantly. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Sigma Healthcare is a stock that we've talked about before, and you can see this significant move today breaching this key level of around about 75 cents. You can see it was support through June, July before this sort of drop off we saw in September. Uh, now we're at highs not seen since then and look as though we could be set to potentially move our way up in the first instance, possibly to around about 80 cents, which is 5% from here, and possibly upwards from there, but certainly a stock with buying pressure evident. On the FX side, we're looking at the US yen and you can see that significant bounce we've had since Thursday's session where we saw significant yen strength. We've regained almost two thirds of that big drop we saw on Thursday and look as though we're going to make our way back ultimately to retest 147. This stage 146 will be a key level to keep an eye on throughout the course of the day. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.